Australia's catastrophic bushfires have led to a mounting death toll of at least 1 billion animals. But that number doesn't include bats, insects, or frogs. So we'd like to do our best to make sure that, amid the tragedy, these creatures are not forgotten. How much do you know about the flying fox? Well, for starters, did you know they tend to eat about two and a half times their weight every night? This means they also excrete a ton of droppings. And they poop vertically. Look at them hanging on tight while letting those bowels loose. Their waste is crucial to the health of the ecosystem. Their diets consist of fruits, pollen, and nectar from flowers. Those droppings by so many bats disperse seeds so that more fruit trees may grow in every corner of the forest. Know who else is easily lured by the promise of nectar? Butterflies. And Oz has some of the most spectacular ones. Just check out those colors. Butterflies drink nectar from flowers by unfurling this little silly straw of sorts called a proboscis. You might be surprised to know that these guys don't taste with those built-in straws. The truth is they taste with their feet. Try to imagine that. You step in something and your brain registers, mmm, apples. As butterflies sip up that nectar, they're also collecting pollen, which they disperse throughout the land. Who'd have thought big bats and little butterflies could have so much in common? While these Aussies are living the sweet life, there are some that'll leave a bad taste in your mouth. Take the cane toad. This warty fellow will eat any bug it can find on the menu. But predators who try to eat them will absolutely live to regret their choices. You see, the cane toad has glands behind its eyes that secrete a deadly hallucinogenic toxin. When the toad feels threatened, the toxins are released. And foes like this hungry snake quickly learn it's best to steer clear of them. Ouch. Cane toads are deadly to many animals, and even humans. So if you've ever thought of licking a cane toad for some kind of psychedelic adventure, this trip might be one worth skipping. These animals have been left off the list of those who've perished, but they too have their own unique talents and purpose. And while finding common ground with them might not be as obvious as, say, the kangaroo or the koala, it's important to remember that they too are part of the fabric of Australia. And for that, their loss of life is just as worthy of mention.